Another mission to help people, but this time it's about helping those with a debilitating disease. News Channel 8's Crystal Haynes takes us to one effort in Cheshire that draws a great deal of support. Another Traveler's Walk MS, another year closer to a cure. Longtime MS advocate Dr. William Pettit and veteran team Jennifer, among record numbers of people who stepped out for the annual walk, but also in the crowd, newcomer Ruby. My MS, I refer to as Big Bertha. It's like a truck. She just breaks down when she wants to, and then when you charge her up, she'll work for a little bit and then breaks down again. Ruby uses humor to cope since being diagnosed in 2000, but it wasn't always that way. You know, I found a girlfriend. Her name was Denial, and we hung out for five years. And so five years, I just didn't do any meds. I was just like I wasn't having it. Um, it was not part of my life. Then I had a really bad exacerbation that said, okay, I get it. That's when she found Raisa, also with MS. She got Ruby involved in the National MS Society. The funny woman, one of 7,000 pre-registered at 11 sites statewide, not to mention the teams that registered this morning. Every step important in this walk, and so is every dollar. In an economy where giving is down, they're actually able to raise their monetary goal here. The needs have never been greater. Um, there's cuts everywhere, so it's more important than ever that we fund research and keep it moving forward toward a goal. The goal, a cure. The hope, the $1.23 million, up about 300000 from last year. The MS Society aims to raise will get them closer. It's a tall task for these sneakers, but one walker say is what they're made for. It's important to get a cure as soon as possible because we go through a lot and the people here do understand. That to me has, it's been monumental because I know that I'm not alone. In Cheshire, I'm Crystal Haynes, News Channel 8.